Hey guys, what's up? It's Gibble 137 coming at you with um, a new segment on this channel that I'm going to start. It's going to be called Goalkeeping News. Um, I'm just going to look at, like, throughout the week, look at Talk Sport, Goalkeeper Magazine, everything like that, and just see what news on goalkeepers there is. What I'm going to start with this week is two topics. Uh, the Ma it's to Manchester United this week and Tottenham. Um, I read last week that Sir Alex Ferguson wants to um, keep chopping and changing between Lindegaard and De Gea for games, like constantly throughout the league. Uh, I think it's a ridiculous idea because both the keepers and the defence can't get settled because each game the defence is having to put up with a new keeper, the keeper's having to come in thinking he's made a mistake or something, the reason why he's not being played consistently. I I know as a keeper I'd hate that to happen. I'd hate to have if at Stocksbridge we had two keeps, one game he's in there and then it's me, then him, then me, then him, then me because neither of us could get settled and if we have one good game, the next game we could be dropped to the bench and we have no no clue why. It's it's just a ridiculous concept and if he actually goes through with it I feel sorry for both Lindegaard and De Gea. Obviously being a City fan if that's going to mess up their chance of getting the title, it's fine with me. But from a goalkeeping concept, it's really ridiculous. I feel sorry for both of them because they both may be thinking, oh, I've made a mistake, why isn't he playing me? What have I done now? Or all of this and all of that. Because they may have a really good training session and then still not be played while the other one has a rubbish one and gets played. It, it's just frustrating me at uh, how some. I know. Obviously, being a City fan, I'd hate Shrugger, but from his knowledge, you, he should know better than to uh, constantly be playing different keepers because it just doesn't allow them to uh, settle properly. So, um, so that's Manchester United segment out of the way. Now on to Tottenham. Uh, obviously, throughout the transfer window, Tottenham were linked with Hugo Lloris, and on the final day, they signed him. But I was reading how apparently there's been a fallout between Vyas Boas and uh, Hugo Lloris over what, why he's not getting played. Because in my honest opinion, between in if I was Vyas Boas at the moment, between Friedel and Lloris, I'd still be playing Friedel week in, week out. Because he's in his 40s now, he's still performing man of the matches every single game, in my opinion. He is just a fantastic keeper. Sorry if I get distracted, I'm uh, watching Sky Sports News. Uh, it's just about like Didier Deschamps as well. That's, I can't remember whether that's French. Whoever, whoever the French manager is saying that oh, if Loris isn't going to be playing, he's not going to be first choice and how that's kicked up a fuss with Loris at Tottenham about how he should be the first choice and because Friedel's getting old, he shouldn't be. Friedel should be out of that. I don't know. It's ridiculous. Honestly, in my opinion, I w I'd rather play Friedel. He performs. He's been the, one of the most consistent keepers in the Premier League since he joined Blackburn up to now. And even though he's getting a lot older, he's still pulling out performances out of the bag, which I wish I could perform at. But, you know, I can't do anything about it. I'm not the manager. So if you guys just if you guys like me doing something like this, just talking about the news and it being from my own opinion, just uh, leave a comment down below saying, oh, could you do these weekly or could you do two of these a month? I don't know, something like that. If it's two a month, I'll make them longer videos and I'll start putting annotations all over the screen and all this. But yeah, just leave a comment, subscribe, like it, because if you get me up to 100 subscribers, these two pairs of gloves are going to be coming out to one of you subscribers. I've still yet to figure out how I'm going to do it, but yeah, if you guys want to do it, get me 200 subscribers, I'm four subscribers away, so that gives you an incentive, just four, that's all I need, and then those will be going out to someone on my subscribers list, but I, I'll see what happens. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this kind of video, and I hope you guys leave me comments saying do some more, and I hope you enjoyed watching this video. See you in a bit.